the last four classes in communication what are the courses covered importance of importance of language and communication skill then emotions non verbal communication then with the three what is that you want me to do everybody who attended any of the classes here which was that which class you attended confidence building confidence building so you are confident in communicating all confidence building only for the process personality development what is the first communication you have in the morning what is the first communication let's start from the morning right what is the first communication you get in the morning 7:30 somebody communicates to you sms wake up people wake up call from alarm for mother tell me the spot alarm alarm that is the first call hmm? <laughs> telephone ring yeah sms get up it's your turn what is the communication you get what's up everybody agrees that that you get and what do you communicate depends on who is calling right if brother is calling right now as if you are sleeping he will give a hit back if mother is calling he will turn the other side and then sleep father is calling jump out and then run right it's a telephone ring go and attend is it that have you heard about brahma mohurta what is that what happens during the day what happens during the day nothing happens you are sleeping <laughs> deep meditation only yesterday night itself we started meditation <laughs> you know all of you get a call from brahma what is this called brahma mantra what text it's what she says to us prior to sunrise 6:30 sunrise 4:30 you get a call from brahma and all of you get the whole jeeva atma in the world gets a call from brahma and you also will get but you never listen to that the first call first communication from god comes to you and you don't listen to that and then what do you do all of you will either stretch your hand take your hand from your head if you are using your hand as a pillow if you are turning on the right you will turn on the left and then sleep you will roll once during that time because somebody calls you what you will do all that you do during that time you keep somebody for watching today today night you go and tell your mother to watch you from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock this happens to all of us then you keep an alarm at 5 o'clock my son tells me you know you call me at 5 o'clock so that 5 5 i can get up whenever you get a call at 5 o'clock you decide mentally i will get up at 5:15 will anybody think that you will get up at 5:7 no and exactly 5:15 you will get up just check if i wanted to get up at 4:30 i will get up only at 4:30 not 4:23 not 4:33 who gives me the time inside me there is a clock inside us biological clock right that works and who keeps the car charging for that 
we are wonderful gifts. That's the Chaitanya which we have inside. And that gets a alarm, not the physical, electronic or mechanical alarm. The biological clock gives us an alarm. This is the time we have to get up. It computes internally from the sun rising time. It's not that Brahma goes all around the longitudinal direction and then calls everybody. India we have got 6.30 so Brahma's time duty is given to knock at each one of the door. No? At 4.30 then he goes. As the sun moves, he also moves around. Don't think there is somebody like that who moves around. This is Sangal from Vibhārata Shastra. But internally we get a wake up call in the early morning which we don't care. You think God comes and calls us, we don't care. And then next call, your mother comes and you don't care. Father calls, you don't care. Brothers or somebody calls, you don't care. The first communication itself, we are not care. We are not responding to the first communication. So let this communication skill class gives you at least one change that you will listen to the call from the God. Now there is a joke when somebody calls uh, Jesus Christ and prays. Jesus Christ was busy because he was attending somebody else and his mother came. Mother Mary came and said, asked, what do you want? No, no, I did not call you, I called your son. He said. But God comes also, we don't even respond back. God comes also, we don't know what to ask. Logical reasoning, creative thinking, all that will go. It's another joke. The first joke we did not break. Second joke. In an island, three people got stuck. Their ship got damaged. And they are stuck in an island. And the first three people who went on a trip, sightseeing trip, all the three are from the same office. And the first person, second, third, three people are from the same office. They have no other go, they start praying to God. So they started praying, two days or Friday evening when I went, Monday morning God appears. And God asks what you want. If you ask one question, the same requirement the other person cannot ask. Only one question you can ask and that I will give you, but the other person cannot ask the same requirement. So the first person asks. Because the Monday morning happened to be an interview day. So those who attend will get promotion. The first person got the first chance. He said, I want to reach back to my office. Attend interview so that I get promotion. Tadastu. So he goes. The next person anyway cannot go. And if he goes also, he won't get. Same requirement cannot be put. The next option, he said, I wanted to go home. Back three days I left my home. I want to see my wife and kids. Sir. Take me back. So Tadastu. He also left. The third person in order to ask. He cannot ask either office or home. He said, I am alone here, bring them back. <laughs> so when God comes to you and then gives you some options also, people doesn't know what is to be asked. So it's not communication which matters. What matters? What made you to communicate to somebody else? What makes you to talk to somebody else? Ideas, thinking, that's what is essential. Somebody gives you instinct then fine, you can. There is a large difference between communication and conversation. Did you understand that? There is a large difference between communication and conversation. Individually, you want to know what's the difference? Yeah, what's that you are holding in your hand? What is that you are holding in your hand? Then how many years you are holding this pen? Past how many years you are holding the pen on your lip? How many years you are holding this pen on your lip like this? Last ten? Twenty years? Fine? All of you are using pen for last so many years, right? No? Can you talk about the pen for half an hour? Anybody who can talk about the pen for half an hour? I can, which I am raising my hand. You can, half an hour. Fine? Come. 
I have saved for half an hour, I don't have to talk. Talk about time. Not half an hour, two minutes. Things you have to talk when you have to talk about a pen. Usage becomes one 
whenever you wanted to talk about some subject, communicate about a subject, you write that subject in the center of the page first. Okay? Draw a circle around it. And then make it into a sun. How do you draw sun? Childhood days. Draw a circle, lot of arrows in all the places, right? No? Draw different arrows everywhere. And write one arrow usage. Next arrow, what could be written? Think you are a producer of a pen, right? Product. So one could be usage, second could be as a product, third business, then types of pen, different things, models, originated history, then quality of pen, pen as a sword weapon, then then what? Pen as a hobby, somebody collects pen, different types of pets, right now? Pen as a gift, you can give it as a gift. Then, tell me, what else? You have 0.5 mm, 0.2 mm, 0.3 mm, right now? The, the thickness, the usage of pen, you can write in normal paper, you can write on transparencies, you can write on glass, you can have glittering pens where you want to present some, something, you use those pens right now. Ink type, technology, you can have ball pen, you can have ink pen, you can have rolling pen, gel pen, so many pens are there. So you write all that variety in each one of these arrows which you put. Now how many of you can write an essay or talk a about the pen for half an hour? How many of you? Raise your hands, communicate. By half, you can, you can think you have got so many arrows written. Now some more hands have come up, right now? Now when you do yourself, you will feel that yes, I will be able to talk about anything in this world. If you want to communicate first, you should create ideas. How do you create ideas? Stay not as you are. Stay outside and look at things differently. Be creative. That's why most of the classes you have got creativity and communication combined together. You have to be creative to communicate. If you are not creative, you don't get ideas. If you don't get ideas, what do you communicate? Right? In a conversation, it is not required because somebody will prompt you. You tell something, he will say, no, I don't agree with you. Then he will say, what do you say? There will be discussions. Then ideas will come together, right? No? Or you may have contradicting ideas. But in a communication, it has to be systematic. You must create it in yourself internally. So what do you do? You communicate to yourself. You communicate to yourself first. When mother calls you in the morning, what is that you are doing? You are communicating yourself. That it is mother. It doesn't matter. Right now? It's brother. Kick him. So you communicate to yourself. Who is that you communicating to yourself? Who is that you first and who is the next you? The first one is your conscious mind. And the other one is the unconscious mind inside this Atma. So everyone communicates to ourselves. I communicate to my Indriyas again. I am behaving like this. I am looking at this place and that place because my mind is telling me, look at that place, look at this place. So there is a communication which goes internal. My mind says, move my hand like this. So I am motion. I am innocent. I am not doing anything. My mind is saying, do this, so I am doing it. Right now? So who communicates maximum to you? It's you who communicates to you maximum. And that communication can be a creative communication or non-creative communication. Don't think, don't worry about it. Right now? The examination of all question paper comes, you know. If you are not able to think, finish, you know. So what happens? Your brain have kept a lot of information that have to come, that have to come to your mind. From brain, buddhi, it has to come to manas. The transfer should happen from 
buddhi to manas the manas should react the eye should read after reading that information should go this is the question and all the dictionary should come out take all the meaning and then make the meaning out of it and then say where did you keep it just go search find out retrieve the data and then get back my subject is image processing from a scientist department of space so i think logically this is how the mind works you know and then tell your hand write this it should know each word how it is to be written how each alphabet is to be written so a lot of communications happen in certain territory right this communication has to be very clean perfect and you should react to that communication there is a nice poem when somebody is playing a veena you know what i mean somebody is playing veena and the poet listens to that it's so well played veena is playing is fantastic music when you play veena for long time your finger will get blood clot it's one more small tickle is enough for the blood to burst who is telling this the poet i tell that if she plays one more tickle then the blood will flow so i tell this poet please ask her to stop so that she don't get pain but the poet's ear says the music is so fantastic don't ask her to stop you know and the poet is in confusion whether he has to listen to his eyes or to ear it's a nice poem in malayalam and for kerala also this happens to all of us nice mirchi bachi the nose still so good no communication goes into it i say it looks beautiful right the stomach tells buddhi yesterday you have cheated me don't put that inside my stomach right no and the next indriya tongue is next indriya it tells you it's so tasty take it now no don't worry about it so all indriyas will communicate to us all panchendriya communicates to our mind and buddhi mind and buddhi will start fighting it happens to all of us mind and buddhi will start fighting they communicate each other they argue each other mind will tell do it and buddhi will say don't do it this happens at every time every time mind will say do it buddhi will say don't do it nice is flame of nice flame something is burning so nice so wonderful touch it anything you like to touch right then buddhi will say no this is not for touching it will burn your finger also what says buddhi will tell that's why small kids buddhi is not the mind is there they will go and catch the fire also right no? when your buddhi develops what happens your mind has to suppress when your buddhi develops mind has to suppress social being no? dogs no problem they have to urinate anywhere no problem just wonderful very happy but you cannot your buddhi says no not here right you want to scold somebody if you are a dog no problem you can scold bark at him but buddhi will always suppress you and mind will like to do things but buddhi will say don't do this don't do this so lot of communication is happens in journey and then what will happen you have to compromise you will either eat mirchi bhaji and then repent for eating tomorrow or don't eat then from that time onwards you will tell you will say no i should have taken that i don't have to worry about what happens tomorrow i should have eaten that right now who tells whom that i should have it is you telling you that you should have so who stops you between the mind and the buddhi 
manas and the buddhi communication happens and the judge who is the judge it is the atma atma will keep quiet atma will not interfere at all it's like a judge in the court he will not interfere unless it comes to him for argument you know and that goes to him at night and then the dream you will see much better which you have not eaten right now this happens yeah he's telling you he's doing like this why it happens because at night the dream will tell you your atma will tell you yes you should have taken so there is a communication which happens to you at night without your conscious it comes as dreams you see how, how many communications happens and tomorrow morning you will decide this is what i do based on what dream you had right therefore lot of internal communications comes and a person becomes so happy only when his internal communications are not contradicting each other after the class i should not feel that oh i should not have told this in the class right after doing a job we should never feel that oh i should not have done this a communication becomes perfect internally only when there is no chance for you to tell you yourself that i should not have done this that communication should never happen said then you are a clean person we scold somebody just like this maximum communication internally happens and the next communication what happens is getting angry scolding and all that right we want to talk to somebody all the bad words will come from where the bad words are coming from our mind right now the father scolds the son stupid you are not good you are not studying all bad words will come where does the bad words comes from from the parents right now you should think how bad this man is because he has kept lot of bad words in him if i am scolding somebody that means i have kept lot of bad words in me so what is in me bad things are in me so who is bad the person who is getting scolding is prickly no problem the person who scolds is bad right no you see the difference generally what we see if i am scolding somebody you feel that he is bad and i am good now what words you should think just different now what you should think oh, this man is very bad so tomorrow if somebody scolds you you should tell how come you have got lot of bad words in you yeah you are so bad <laughs> right now you cannot scold with good words eh? is it possible you are so beautiful it can never be a scolding right now nice good words are never used for scolding only bad words are used that means you are keeping lot of bad words why do you keep bad words now where did you get from where are you getting these bad words because so many people are telling you you know right what you hear what you read what you get only can be given no what you don't have you can not give a person who got maximum scolding can only scold maximum the principle thing no what you have only can be given if you don't have money you cannot give if you don't have love with you you cannot give love otherwise you become a beggar of love always you start begging please give no please give many people are like that only they don't have so they cannot give therefore they become beggar assume that i i don't know how to use bad words then what i do oh rama rama what happened you know maximum that i'm making this you know if somebody does bad things what you will say oh rama rama i cannot tolerate this the maximum that matter if i know bad words i will start using all the bad words so words which comes out will determine what quality the person has so your communication will determine what sort of a person you are not the way you dress up okay so communication is used as a parameter for measuring people not in india alone anywhere 
anywhere in the world. Recently I met a linguistic professor from Lincoln University, London. His research is characterizing people based on their communication. On telephone also if you ask for a rented house in some place, they will tell you whether you can get it or not based on your English what is being spelled out in ships. That what happens in London. You can ask for a rented house to the owner, he will tell you which continent you are from, what sort of a culture you have in your life. Based on that he will either give you a house for rent or not. When you ask for tea, they know what sort of a person you are. You can colloquially also distinguish people from based on your culture, caste, creed, whether you are from this part of the country, based on the English which you are talking, right now? Or any, any Telugu language or whatever language you have. Based on your culture, your language will change. Therefore, your words are important. If you have good words, you can trust anything in the world. Walk. Walk means what? Words. Words is much more heavier than the whole cloth. Nice words, you can catch people. Bad words, you can get bad names. Therefore, in Sanskrit there is a sloka which says Keyu Dhanina Bhushayanti Purusham Harana Chandrujwala Nasnanam Nakusumam Navilepanam etc. etc. It says Keyu Dhanina Bhushayanti Purusham Harana Chandrujwala No Hara. Don't put a lot of ornaments and present you yourself well. That have no meaning. Nasnanam You have taken bath. That also doesn't matter. Whether you have taken bath or not doesn't matter. Nepusuma put a lot of flowers on your hairs and look so beautiful, no use. But what is important is what bhushanam bhushanam. Good words are important. Words have to be very good. And where the word comes from? Word comes from the mind. Word comes from mind, right now. Where does the word comes from? Mind. So good words to come, your mind has to be good. How do you make your mind good? So for good communication, your mind has to be good. Purify your mind. How do you purify your mind? Clean it up well. Take some wimp powder, brush and then clean it. <laughs> some dirt is there, clean it up. And liquid wimp also is coming. No, one drop is enough to clean for that. How do you clean your mind? The word is that information comes to your mind. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you taste? What do you touch? All that will give you information, right? So if your mind has to be clean, eye has to be clean. Because you cannot put clean your mind, clean your eyes. Now it's eye drops. Clean eye, no? What is clean eye means? When you see things, see good, don't see bad. When you see the photograph, you say, no, it's not very good. The peacock is not very good. No, it's not drawn. Somebody after the class will tell me, so many varieties of something, no, some, some grammar mistake will be there somewhere. Somebody comes and says, sir, I have to talk to you. Very serious. What is that? Your grammar is very bad. The whole class is useless. I am not teaching English now. Am I teaching English? No. And I am not, I am, my mother tongue is not English. Mother tongue is Malaya. This is anyway other tongue. Yes. I am talking in Manglish only, Malayalam mixed English. You will talk Taklish, Telugu mixed English, or Tamil mixed English. So how can it be perfect? Then how, who knows what is perfect or not? Whether I am communicating well with you or not. All the time from the first class I did a grammar mistake, you know. His mind is only on that. His master is very bad. His English is very bad. How can he talk about communication skills? Nothing will go inside the mind. The whole time, only this. I have to give him a lesson after the class, you know. <laughs> eh? This is only what goes in mind. So what happens? We don't accept things. Always we see some bad things on it. 
people are always see bad things at anywhere because your mind is not good so what happens what is important cleaning eye is not important no you will see only eyes will see where you should not see only our eyes are very cheating no? we will see where we should not look at we are very good in looking where we should not look at no? right we will hear what we should not hear we will taste what we should not taste we will touch where we should not touch this happens to us because indriyas are associated with the panchabhutas panchendriya panchabhuta is that panchabhuta will drive you for all the bad things no panchendriyas what is to be done so restrict yourself and say that no i will not look at things which are bad i will see only good things the richest fellow also will hold no atma please give me something no the hand is full but still we will want we will ask for something more because we are beggars so never if you want to have a clean mind your eye should be clean what you hear should be clean and more than this there is one more thing which happens we are not learning everything by seeing we can imagine things right now our imagination should be good thought process has to be good buddhi has to be clean mind has to be clean buddhi has to be clean first because many things are told by buddhi i told that no mind will recur your manas will tell i want this buddhi will say don't there is lot of communication i want to telephone to my brother who is in kerala then buddhi will say shashi kumar you are only a scientist in department of space monthly salary is only this much last month the telephone bill was 2500 rupees don't do let him call you you don't call recurrent feelings comes from mind buddhi will say don't do this all database of telephone bill is kept not in the mind it is kept in the buddhi <laughs> it is not captain manas it is captain buddhi so buddhi will say don't i wanted to meet somebody who is in hospital i got a telephone call no? so and so is in hospital oh i must see him he was a good friend of mine or he is a good friend of mine soon he will become was he is in hospital no? krishna rama govinda he can go past by any time so he will become soon was with that feeling i say i should go and meet him then i will say why should i go petrol charge is much now 50 rupees petrol charge mileage is only this much so 10 km driving finished why heavy traffic and i have to go to office half day leave how do i drop my wife no all these questions will come and then you think let him come back from the hospital then i will go to his house because the house is next door wait why should i go all the way how you know that he is going to come back he may come from there itself you know visa <laughs> then he goes finished will you get a chance again to meet him <laughs> that time onwards you start feeling bad oh i should have gone and met him. does it not happen to all of us it happens we should go but we feel no reasoning will start coming and then we will postpone and many things we don't perform because our priority is given to buddhi priority has to be given to buddhi otherwise we will start doing whatever we feel like doing but there has to be a good communication good understanding between the mind and the brain the buddhi and the manas and decide what is to be done what is not to be done so good communication good argument should happen that thought process have to be good if all these are good then you will become very good and you will never have a problem in responding to anything in this world and you will never repent on whatever response you give if you scold somebody also you will never feel i should not have scolded because it is essential it has been thought out internally for long time if your internal communication is not good that can give you stress that can give you conflict that can make you unhappy all the problems in life are because your internal communications are not pure walk mana word comes from mind therefore walk mana chakshu srotra grana jihwari lo udyagri sangalpa meshu yanda this is called the saptashuddhi 
ವಾತ್ಮನ ಚಕ್ಷು ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಚಿಕ್ಕವಾರಿಯದು ಉದ್ಯಾನವಿ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಾಮಿ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂತ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೆಂಬರ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎನಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ essentially there is an internal communication which happens and that is what happens maximum who talks to you maximum you you as a and that mind talks to your atma and your buddhi all the time and contradicts that's why lord krishna says uddhare atman atmana atmanam avasadhaye atmaiva khyatmano baddu atmaiva ripuratmana ha your mind is the closest friend of yours make him as closest to friend so that you will never when your friend does something will you tell that don't do this he will never so make your mind closest to you your atma so that you will never contradict raise him to higher level your mind should reach to higher level so that you will never contradict your mind your atma will never contradict with your mind or ripura atmana ha sometime your enemy becomes your own mind who is the closest friend of yours your own mind who is the enemy you yourself right now i have telephoned to somebody i just tried my friend then somebody picked up the phone that was a lady once i told her that you should tell mr ram that shashi kumar called you i put the phone down i am waiting for ram's call from that time onwards because what did i tell i called ram and tell him that shashi kumar called from that time onwards i will expect him to call back please ask ram to call that much also i told him. communicate perfectly well. no confusion in that i told ram has to call me back please tell ram that to call back yeah she said yes i will tell from that time onwards i will wait for ram's call but he did not call three days all the three days i am thinking why he did not call and then i will start connecting all the bad things about him telling that he is a very bad man he did this like that also last time also he never called no something must have happened between me and him somebody must have told something bad about me so he don't want to talk to me my mind goes wrong 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 right no how much it cost to make one more call and try we will not our ego talks to us and say that don't talk to him next time on. if he calls also don't attend his phone and tell my son if ram calls tell him papa is not here he was gone for ram krishna math class right he never called me after that. two three calls also i did not attend next time by mistake i picked up the phone when he said why shashi kumar you did not attend my calls why i called you last thursday three o'clock no you did not call me no not you at home some lady was there maybe your daughter or wife how do i know or mother or sister maybe and i told her to tell you yeah he never told me no nobody told me i have no information that the you have called me on that thursday three o'clock oh sorry finished the whole conversation is over how many days from that day onwards seven days are over i did not attend the call for what for what reason thinking that what is my presumption when i told somebody i presume that they have communicated to how do we expect the servant maid or a doctor or a wife or a mother to remember shashi kumar called and then tell this they have hundred and one shashi kumar to think about this there are so many problems which they have to think right now so you don't know then your mind is not keeping what i am keeping this in mind but they are not keeping what i want them to keep in mind right now so you cannot guarantee when you communicate something you presume that communication is perfect on based on that you start making stories may not be true at all therefore what happens your communication is perfect but that makes no sense to somebody else so most of the time the wrong communication goes because your internal communication is bad so don't take anything for granted make one more telephone call nowadays it's a 10 paise or send an sms i called you so and so 
So and so pen, please respond to that. Every means of communication you start with. There is a person who sits on the pen back bench. All the time he is trying to do like this. Is there? Is there there? So he is trying to do like this. I am thinking he is hiding from me on the campus. I am thinking he is hiding from me. Actually he was not able to see me because I am turning like this. He is thinking I am hiding from him. Because the person who sits in the front is turning all the time. He is not able to see me so he is turning to see me actually. But what did I thought? He is trying to hide. So what is the punishment I give? I ask him, please come and sit in the front seat so that you can see me perfectly. So I call him and then ask him, please sit here. Actually he sat there because if the door is open, if the lecture is boring, he wants to escape. <laughs> he don't mind listening sometime. But after that, if it is boring, he wanted to get out of the place. Now what happened? He is here. He is not able to listen at all. All the time. Why this man is so cruel to me? But I never became cruel. I thought he wanted to meet me and see me. He is not able to see me. So let him get a chance of meeting me. No. I called him here. He became upset. The next person who is sitting, she is sitting at the back. She thinks, why I am calling him only? Why not me? Until that time when I called her, she was perfect, she is able to listen to my class. But the time I called him, why he is... I also paid the same amount. Right now? Why he has given priority to him but not to me? I should have been called, I will go and sit very happily, you know. Something, he is biased, prejudiced, very bad lecture, you know. He should never be like this. You know, she is also not able to listen. From that time onwards, you are hearing but you are not listening. That's why the teachers in the class know, please listen, please listen. They will be begging to you, but they know that you are not listening. They talk about the Tolstoy, you are thinking about the Chiri Chiri or Salman Khan. Tolstoy is the story, but your Salman Khan is in your mind. You know, fine. Nothing goes inside. Because everybody will start thinking the way you like to think but not the way the speaker wants you to think. The perceiver, the people who listen are called the perceivers. The perceiver perceives the way the perceiver likes to perceive and no, not the way the speaker wants the perceiver to perceive. A perceiver perceives the way the perceiver wants to perceive and not the way the speaker wants the perceiver to perceive. I want her to perceive in some style but she don't. I want him to perceive in some style, but he won't. Because internally you are prejudiced. Internally the mind is not clean. Therefore a good communication will happen only when your mind is clean and your internal communications are perfect. Shraddha has to be there. Your mind has to be darpana samanam, Shankara says. Mind has to be darpana samanam, like a mirror. Don't make it concave or convex. Don't exaggerate. Don't do that. Don't reduce the intensity. Make it perfect. If somebody says shut up, you say shut up. Back, no? You must reflect in the style what somebody else is reflecting to you. You must behave in the same fashion as somebody else expects you to behave. When somebody is calm, cool, you don't get irritated. When somebody scolds, smile at them. So wonderful. So good wrinkles are there on your face when you get angry. It's like Kathakali. So wonderful. Nose is becoming reddish. Good. Cheeks are trembling. Fine, no. You have to pay 40 rupees to see a Kathakali. No, free of cost. <laughs> you can make them cool down. The reflections have to come very cool, calm. Communication can be controlled by taking deep breath, mind clean, drink a little bit of water, there is no wimp powder at all, it, but put a lot of water so that mind will become clean. When you get irritated, your communication becomes very bad, right now? Emotions added to words, emotions added to words, bad emotions, good emotions are wonderful, you are so lovely, it's a good emotion, right? Bad emotions added to words will create a lot of problems. Therefore, what is to be done? Dilute it. How do you dilute? Add water. So when you get angry, drink one glass of water. 
If it is not enough, add one more glass. If not, one bottle, one bucket. Then clean. Then you cannot scold. <laughs> okay? So sometimes communication has to be controlled. Not communicating is also wonderful sometimes. Some people cannot internal communication control and all is told. No, nothing will work. It was a husband and wife. Every time husband and wife. How many of you are married? Not married. Okay. Not married. Fine. Hold on. Sometimes husband and wife will scold each other, no? A lot of fighting will happen. And then what happened? The Swamiji called both of them. I will give you a mantra. Chant this. If you chant this mantra, you will never get scolding, you will not be scolding somebody else. The mantra will be given only to, generally Swamiji gives to wife only. So wife got the mantra. The next day the husband starts again the same ritual of scolding. The wife took a deep breath, started chanting mantra internally. There is no fun in scolding somebody, they are not reacting to us, no? Right? Do you like to scold somebody when they don't react? No. Husband got bored. The life was so thrilling until yesterday, now onwards it's boring. <laughs> no reactions at all. <laughs> Second trial, next day, next day, three days, nothing happening. Yes. Wife is always chanting mantra and husband is not able to entertain. No entertainment at home. Otherwise, every day there used to be nice entertainment. So nothing is happening. No wrinkles, no cheeks, nothing is going. Boring life. He went to Swamiji and what Swamiji, you made my life boring as you have. Your life is also boring. <laughs> Swamiji said, no, I will give you the same mantra. Only one mantra, keep quiet when somebody scolds. The mantra is keep quiet, don't react that time. It's true. Don't react. If you start reacting, our communication creates a lot of problems. So internal communication has to be there when somebody scolds. This communication does not make a sense. Don't communicate. What did I say communication? Should make a sense. What did I say after the end? Hundred times I told you, you know, somebody will start scolding like this. Oh no, you just started only, no. Hundred times you never told me. Only once you told me. Now what you do? You give me whatever you wanted to scold, write and give me. I will read hundred times. Why do you waste your time? No. Communication becomes very perfect when you write and give. If you want to scold somebody stupid, write stupid, you then skip it. Family life can become very, very cool and calm. You just ask your husband to write and give you what all that he wanted to tell, no? all that to take it out. Don't scold me, I will read this. You tell me when to tell it. If you have to delete something, you delete it. Add something, you add this. So perfect, no scolding. So sometimes communicating written will create problems very, very less. You don't have to listen scolding. Somebody scolds you on the road, please write and give, no, I will listen to that. You tell him to postpone five minutes and then come now, please. Just now I am slightly busy. After the lecture I will come back and stand before you. You can score to be balanced. Will anybody be able to do that? Right now? That's why you give one glass of water. On the road you may not get a glass of water. Keep some lemon with you all the time. <laughs> when somebody scolds, keep a lemon. Otherwise, the amla, amla has eh? Yeah, amla, big amla is available in Hyderabad, but you keep it in your pocket. Many houses inside the fridge that is kept for that purpose only. <laughs> keep it inside. So, sometimes not communicating gives you a lot of relaxation. What happens when you don't communicate, you start thinking. When you start communication with too much of emotions, you don't think. What did I say? There has to be a communication between buddhi. That's why number system also you forget. Hundred times you told and all, how does he say? Because number counting is from the buddhi. That does not work. You think that you told hundred times. And actually it is not. Because your mind is not working. Your buddhi is not working. Therefore you will make mistakes. In your world. So what is essentially to be done is have a good communication internally so that whatever you communicate outside will be perfect. So what is today's lecture title? Internal communication. Okay? So that is what I spoke to. Is it clear? Fine. Now it's time for questions. If you have got some few questions, 
that watch is 7.30, my watch is 7.25. So you have got 5 minutes of asking questions. You can ask any questions. Bad thoughts. You should have good success people with you. Good people around you, you will have only good things. Bad people around you, you will have bad thoughts. Who is your person, who is your company that matters? Shakuni is beside you or Lord Krishna is beside you, that matters. The whole Mahabharata war between one good person, Dharma Putra and Adharma Putra, Duryodhana and Dharma Putra, right? No? They studied in the same class. Their guru was there. They took birth in the same family. Kasil brothers only, right? No? But what is wrong with one person and what is right with other person? Dharma Putra had Lord Krishna as company and Duryodhana had Shakuni as company. Shakuni is from which place? Gandhar Nadesh. Kandahar. Kandahar is Afghanistan. Don't have company with Afghanistan people. <laughs> Even today that is the problem, right now? Afghanistan people are very bad, even today. So have company with Indian people. Himalayam Samaratya Yavat Hindu Sarovaram Tam Deva Nirmidam Desham Hindustanam Prachakshadi Deva Nirmidam Desham The good qualities are here. So look at yourself. You all right. So you should have good people around you so you have no chance of discussing unnecessary things. Assume that your company is always talking about bad things. You will only communicate such things, right? No? What you hear, what you collect only, you can do that. So, assume you go abroad in Germany for some time. You will lose your English. Because the people there don't understand English, no? So, you will start changing your English for them. But assume you go abroad in London and come back. In English, you become fabulous English. Because you spoke to them for some time. Right? So your vocabulary, language, the words which you use, the ideas which you get, the, all that depends on with whom you are interacting. It doesn't matter which house you have taken birth, which whose parents you are produced, no problem. All that doesn't matter. What matters is with whom you are associating. Assume that you are in a basti, morning onwards you are seeing what happens there. All Shudras, not by birth Shudras. What I am trying to say is, take drink every day, night. Somebody says, no, morning you have to be fit, therefore you do yoga. Now, yesterday night itself I was fit, you know. What happens to some? You will listen to such things only. So, which surroundings you are, you will become like that. So, have good surroundings, good people around you. Yeah.
So what happens is your internal feelings you are controlling because you habituated to be like this. Which is good, whether that is good or not, it depends on which house you are going. Somebody will ask you, the person is also asking just for formality. Actually they don't want to give you food at all. <laughs> That's also possible, no? <laughs> eh? Will you have tea? Then you say, yes I will have, no milk is not there, eh? without milk I will give you, is it alright for you? <laughs> See how do you know, you are taking for granted the other party, the world is such, the other party knows people perfectly well. I was in Ahmedabad as a bachelor, so one of my old classmates who was in MSc got married and they settled in Ahmedabad. I took a house close by that house, because I know I am a bachelor, I am staying alone, so they everyday cook. <laughs> Okay, then what did I do? I went there as if I have to see magazines every day. Because I like reading Malayalam magazines, only in that house Malayalam magazines comes. So I will go every day to read magazines. And I will stay back for some more time, so that they will ask me, will I have lunch? No, not prepared, but anyway we were friends, you know, we ate together for a long time, I recollect all those memories, so wonderful. No, I will have, no problem. So every day I started eating, he found that it is not worthy keeping him every day and then he stopped getting magazines so that this fellow will not come. <laughs> I found getting magazines much more profitable. Why you are not getting magazines? No, nowadays the uh, paper boy is not putting. No problem. I got magazines and started giving him every day. <laughs> so that I can go to him, no anyway, <laughs> more chance. Magazine is cheaper than food. <laughs> so, what happens to all of us? We will find our reasoning for not accepting or accepting. The other person also is more wiser than us. So don't take offers just like that. That's why we are conditioned for not accepting many times. Okay? So you believe that they are with the full pleasure they are giving. Most of the houses they think, when this fellow is going to get out of this house, no problem. Nice serial was happening. No? I am getting headache. So never. People are not open to each other. It's a big problem in life. Let us be frank and say no. Now somebody is fighting, you are fighting with your husband or kids or wife or father or mother. I appear in front of you inside the house as a guest. You will have called us, you know, you will say smilingly, we are all right, no problem. You know? All the fighting will get disposed of, is it not? Then all the time you will be smilingly asking so many things, Ramakrishna, the class was wonderful, no? Hey, sir, I told you, no, this is the person, no? I told you, tell your father. I told you that day he took classes. He was wonderful class, and all that such a discussion. Never he told, no? All these discussions will happen there. At the end, you will be internally thinking, when this fellow is going out, no? Right? As soon as I leave the place, next chapter of scolding will start, no? Right? So we know how to be polished. Because we are social beings, we know how to be polished. And we do that, it's a must. Who is right? We don't know. So don't expect that from your point of view, you thought. What did I say? Think in the other point of view also. Always you should think from the other point of view. Who offers also may not have a full heart at offering. What is the difference between mind and buddhi? Mind and buddhi. Buddhi is analyzing, critically, keeping data, grammar, all such things in your mind, manas, feelings are only kept. Feelings are kept. See for example, now you say that you are by heart at your subject, right? No? Actually you are not by heart. By heart means it goes to mind. You are all by heart thing is generally told but nobody by heart. It is by minding. By praying, that's what people do. You will all by praying, keep it inside the brain. As soon as exam is over, you will read it. Okay? Whatever I told, where these words got processed? Inside your brain. But I gave some messages, some feelings to you in the class. You will never forget those feelings. You will forget all the words used, grammar used, sentences used, stories also you will forget. But you will remember, he gave a different lecture. There was a feeling given, right now? So feelings are inside the heart that will stay for longer time. Brain will remember something for some, some time. It makes sense, may not make sense. Heart, your manas have no sense 
and sense. It will not understand what is sense, what is nonsense. It will not have practical knowledge. All the practical knowledge, the social knowledge, all that is kept inside your brain. Okay? Now you have learned many times you must have taken oath in the schools. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. When you go on the road, when you see, oh this is my brother, this is my sister, do you have such feeling? No, because you have not taken inside your heart. Assume that you take it inside your heart that this is my brother. Then what happens? It becomes peace. Right now? Sometimes feelings are kept inside. Then you will never forget it. But brain don't understand feelings. You told me. That's why I am not able to tolerate. What is the difference between you? Because I have a feeling that you will never tell me this. Right now? The brain don't understand the feelings. The feelings are kept by minus. Okay? So if you have more support questions, you can always mail me.